Alice here and I'm still in New Hampshire so I wanted to take you guys to another one of my favorite hikes. This is called Morgan and Percival, the trail that we're on now. It is about five and a half miles round trip and it's actually two mountains. So we're gonna go up Mount Morgan and there's some really cool features on this trail that I'm excited to show you. I'm also going to be shooting this entire video on my Osmo Pocket, which is made by DJI. I just got it, and this is going to be the first time I really try it out. Look out for flying caterpillars. <sighs> Look at all these woodpecker holes. So much of what we observe when we're hiking is not only done with our eyes, but with our ears. And you know, on this trail, like most, hearing the sounds of the birds, the creak of the trees, the buzzing of bugs trying to come and attack me. Um, and in some places in the world, you know, there's other animals that you might want to be paying attention to. And I know there's a lot of people out there that hike with headphones, so I wanted to kind of get your guys' take on that. Do you think you should wear headphones? Do you think you shouldn't? Do you wear headphones while hiking? So let me know in the comments, because I, for one, would never wear headphones hiking. And that's because I want to take in my surroundings, not just with my eyes, but with my ears too. Now there are a few things that you always need when hiking in New Hampshire. One is bug spray. They aren't that bad right now, but depending on the time of the year, the mosquitoes and deer flies can be extremely terrible. And uh, you'll also need water, preferably, or actually mandatorily, in a non-single-use plastic container. You'll want a snack for the top of the mountain and some sunscreen. Right now we're at 1.7 miles. It's been about 45 minutes and we're at where this trail really gets exciting. This is my favorite part and when I was a kid I just absolutely loved it. So this next section that we're going to go through is a series of ladders and caves and it's going to take us up to Mount Morgan. See if I can do this one-handed or zero-handed. A water bottle. One hand. So there's actually a couple areas where you have to take off your backpack, kind of squeeze through. That's one. This is the top of Mount Morgan. Absolutely stunning. Now from here, we're gonna continue on the trail over to Mount Percival, and that's where we're gonna have lunch. Mushrooms, anyone? Are you guys ready to see this next peak? This is called Mount Percival. Now that you guys have seen both peaks, Mount Morgan and Mount Percival, let me know in the comments which one you like better. So there's actually a couple different ways you can get down this mountain as well. From Mount Percival, you can go down the easy way or the hard way. Which way do you think we've chosen? Okay. 
wouldn't recommend this as a way of going down. bit of a lemon squeezer. Don't eat too much for lunch. Because you might not be. So if you're going up this, this is the way. So you can kind of see where we just went down. Okay, there were some girls that I just passed and they were hollering about daddy long legs. So if you don't know what a daddy long leg is, well, those are them. They're actually one of the most poisonous spiders in the world. This trail also has a cavern you get to go through. And if you are wearing a backpack, this is where you're going to need to take it off. I know what you're thinking. What? You're going to fit through that little hole? Yes, we are, guys. <laughs> that little hole was a lot easier to get through when I was eight. <laughs> There's a couple more little squeezers here on the trail. We are heading back down to the bottom of the mountain now. We're taking the Mount Percival Trail down, so not going back the way we came. That is something to note. You will end up in a different parking lot if you do both of these mountains. So that's something to just keep in mind that you will have to uh, walk back on the road to get back to your car. <laughs> Bug in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> and note that this mountain, while it does have the caverns and those lemon squeezers, it also has other trails that you can take to the top. So don't be scared if uh, that's not your cup of tea. But I do want to say thank you guys for watching. I've really enjoyed getting to show you guys a little glimpse into the beautiful area that I grew up in. And I hope to show you guys some more in the next couple of weeks too so make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like this video either as always i'm alice ford never stop exploring